here. Did you get any sightseeing in? Uh, a little bit, not too much, but it was good. <laughs> Definitely got to get that new African American History Museum on your list. It's excellent. Oh, I did get a chance to go to that one. That one was very good. It's fabulous, yeah. I'm going down this weekend uh, to visit my son Nicholas in D.C. and we're going to the Spy Museum. Oh, I haven't been there this time, but I've been there before. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been, so we're looking forward to it. Oh, nice. And just so you know, the day of Holocaust and African American is 7.30, they do release tickets for the day off. Because it's very early. Well, we, he's got us pretty well pretty booked. Yeah. It being time, I call the appointments committee meeting of Monday, April 11th at 4.30 p.m. to order. I'd like the record to reflect that all members of the committee are present. Chairman Tyros, Councillor Walsh, Councillor Mack, and on the telephone we have Mayor Mike Nicholson. First order of business is review and approval of the meeting minutes from January 31st, 2022. Will be accept, uh, dispense with the reading of the minutes if you accept them. Second. Motion made by Councillor Walsh, second by Councillor Mack to uh, approve the minutes of January 31st, 2022. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Passes. Uh, appointments. Uh, today we will be uh, taking some items out of order to accommodate those who joined us uh, for today's meeting. Uh, so we'll be starting with item 10637. A measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Ronald D. Garnica to the position of Council on Aging Member for term expiring March 22nd, 2025. A, uh,
high school many, many, many decades ago, um, but still uh, a graduate. So I um, you know, have my affinity to the city of Gardner. Um, I think from an experience perspective, I would you know, do well in serving in that role, whether it be you know, finance background or awareness of the you know, needs of, of Gardner and Gardner proper. So I would be very honored to be considered for the position and would certainly do. I don't do anything for the sake of having my name on letterhead. I, if I do something, if it's giving 150% or more, oh, I won't accept it. So I you know, asked the mayor about time commitments and whether meetings held and would that conflict with um, my current work and, and I was assured that that would not be an issue and I'll see if an issue. Yeah, we, the, uh, I happen to be a representative of the on the fund, as a fund trustee, as a designated trustee, and I was involved when the original fund and committee was formulated legislative. Um, we meet essentially four times a year, usually at about 3 30 in the afternoon, to be at 3 30 in the afternoon, to uh, consider, uh, consider applications for funding, uh, to review the financial reports that we get from Raymond James. And, uh, uh, it's, and again, it's four times a year, and it would usually an hour, two hours at most. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I would just comment too that you know, since the fund was formed, uh, obviously everyone in the garden was reading about it and understanding, you know, what a windfall that was. And uh, you know, the, the councilors and the city could have taken many different directions in what to use that that money for. And um, just very, I've been very proud and intrigued by the fact that um, you know we're preserving it and, and doing good things with it. Somebody else could have just said, "Oh, look at this nice windfall." Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the market is very good to us too, so we've been able to be generous so far. <laughs> circle or just through the GFA. Um, I think the biz business sense that you bring to the committee will be wonderful. Um, you know, I just, I appreciate you being agree agreeable to this because I have seen in my in my other role how important this has been for the school department. And, um, and I think you have it even through the GFA advisory board being, getting to know the students with, with the Garden Public Schools really means a lot. And, um, you know, I, as I said, I just really appreciate you Taking this, you know, taking this position. Thank you. I'll make a motion that we uh, recommend um, Tina Sabriger for the position of trustee at the Williams Rockwell Educational Gift Fund. Second. Motion made by Councillor Matt, second by Councillor Walsh to recommend the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Okay. It'll be taken up by the council for full confirmation at our next meeting, which is May 19th. Is it Tuesday? And then the three thousand, which I fully expect, will be one in mm -hmm. our convenient time. And you can be here that night if you wish. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Nice to see you. I will be taking up is item 10647. A measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Mario Gray to the position of Board of Registrar's member for a term expiring March 24th, 2025. Good afternoon. Welcome. Um, I have a lot to say. I've been on the on the last couple of elections, very important committee, so um, I look forward to continuing to serve if so appointed. Well, I, I certainly agree with you that uh, we've never realized uh, how important the position can be, and hopefully if it hasn't been the controversy here that there has been in other locations. And, and, no. uh, but I'm sure it's caused those who, even who haven't had the controversy, 
controversy and be reflective about what it could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have a lot of questions about the process. A lot more than the first few years I was sure. on the board. Yeah, sure. uh, what's the status of our uh, machines are working well? Uh, the election, the voting machines? Yeah, to my understanding, the new ones, uh, the last election were In all the uh, precincts? I am not sure about that. Uh -huh. okay. I, I so yes, the answer, answer, answer for the assistant clerk is yes. I would. Uh, we just, uh, she came today to maintain them. Confirmation of the appointment. Second. Motion made by Councilor Walsh, second by Councilor Mack to recommend the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We'll come up on Monday for the, the full council for the vote. For Monday. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> All right, back to the uh, first time on the uh, item 10631 uh, under appointments, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Casey Brad uh, Bashaw to the position of alternate plumbing and gas inspector for a term expiring March 9, 2025. Just to get, uh, Brad, uh, Bashaw was able to uh, be here, and uh, this is a new appointment. Uh, I'm wondering whether, and uh, apparently uh, the department had Mr. Gene is unavailable uh, on vacation. I'm wondering whether we should uh, uh, carry this one on our agenda and our next meeting uh, so that either, presumably, not necessarily Mr. Bradshaw be here, for, at least for the way I look at it, although he certainly would be the best choice. Mm -hmm. But in, in his absence, uh, uh, if Mr. Jean uh, could uh, be here to voice his, because apparently, according to the mayor, Mr. Jean uh, is in support of the, the appointment. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, would, would that be problematic of any kind? No, it will not be, Council. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, and I move that we defer uh, action on this until our next meeting. Second. Uh, motion made by Councilor Walsh, second by Councilor Mack to defer uh, item 10631 uh, until our next meeting. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. The next four items we will be taking uh, together uh, as they uh, are positions all on the same uh, board. Uh, item 10632, 10633, 10634, 10635 are uh, measures to confirm the appointment of Philip Morrissey, James Morrissey, John Leboy, Andre Gerton uh, to the position of Airport Commission members for the term expiring uh, March 3rd and March 4th, 2025. And these are all reappointments to the Correct, Council. I have no question. I'd like to see that the uh, mayor is seen fit to add and reappoint and, and uh, maintain on a current basis, the uh, the effort at filling these positions and reappointments and filling the time of the year. I move confirmation of uh, all of these. Uh, recommend that we recommend confirmation of all these appointments. Second. Motion made by Councilor Walsh, second by Councilor Mack to recommend uh, the confirmation of the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Item 10636, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Stephen Hirons to the position of sealer of weights and measures for a term expiring March 23rd, 2023. I have no problem with the, the uh, appointment. Uh, he's held the position for a number of years. Uh, he's done a good job by all accounts. Uh, almost a 
family tradition in the Highlands, in the Highlands, to the, his father held a position in the or him and did a fine job and, and his group taught his son well. So I'm going to recommend confirmation of the appointment. Second. Motion made by Council Hall. I move that. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> second by Councilor Mack to recommend the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Item 10638, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of David Orban to the position Conservation Commission member for a term expiring March 22nd, 2025. Apparently the chairman, uh, is the mayor, is there anything you want to uh, offer on this other than what's in your comments? I will say that he, uh, having worked with Mr. Orwick while he's been on the commission, both while I've been mayor and while I worked for the previous administration, he's been one who actually asks the office a lot of questions on getting the background. He's very uh, familiar with the people who are in the community development office. He's always at uh, meeting with our conservation agent uh, regarding the item before the uh, conservation Committee there, too. Uh, uh, Chairman Dumas does recommend him for reappointment as well. Um, just, I've always been happy with his work that he's done, and he's been very active on the committee, too, and knows that he's not just there to show up and take a vote, but actually does his homework. I, I have no other, I have no other questions. Mm -hmm. We'll recommend the uh, confirmation. Second. Uh, motion made by Councillor Walsh, second by Councillor Mack, to recommend the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. The motion passes. The next four items we'll be taking uh, together as they're all members of the same uh, board. <coughs> items 10639, 10640, 10641, 10642. Measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Alexander Dernalowitz, David Noyes, Jeffrey Gallant, Michael Budwick, the position of Golf Commission members for a term expiring March 22nd, 2025. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, appointments to the Golf Commission. And I just want to note for the public who watch this that this is an unpaid position and they are compensated by an annual free family membership to the golf course, which they are subject um, to pay taxes on for the IRS. Um, but I, I, do make, I do move the order. Second motion. Motion made by Councilor Max, seconded by Councilor Walsh to recommend the mayor's appointments. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Item 10644, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Mark Monaghan to the position of bandstand committee member for a term expiring March 22nd, 2025. This is a uh, new appointment, uh, but I don't feel it's the type of appointment that requires uh, the position. Is there anything that you can provide other than what you've given us, Mr. Mayor? Uh, not really, Council. That's pretty much the most of it there. I was looking for a volunteer board to get back to the city in a certain way. We had a lot of openings on the band state committee. We still have three additional openings there that haven't been filled yet. Um, and we should, uh, after speaking with Mr. Monaghan, thought that would be a good spot to start to get back. I think that's adequate. I think it's great. I think he's young, enthusiastic, and very much cares for the city, so I think it's a great appointment. Move confirmation. We need that we recommend confirmation of the appointment. Second. Motion made by Councilor Walsh, second by Councilor Mack to recommend the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Uh, the next two items we'll be taking together, uh, 10645 and 10646, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of George Ouellette and Stephen Hancock to the position of Housing Authority member for terms expiring March 22nd, 2027. These are both reappointments, as I understand. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, well, certainly Mr. Ouellette and Mr. Hancock are people who are well-known in the community and I think we're fortunate to have the benefit of their service on, on the Housing Authority Board and uh, I'm certainly satisfied that uh, their presence is not needed to further discuss their qualifications. 
high grade they served on it for um, many terms and uh, their contribution to this really important uh, housing authority with the elderly housing that we have in the city is, um, is greatly appreciated. So as the first question that came up, Mr. Mayor, is what is the status of the, the executive director uh, at the housing authority? You know? uh, so the housing authority board has voted to award employment to someone. I believe her start date, if not, if it wasn't this week, it's next week. Uh, so they should be starting soon. Ms. Mullins is retired. Uh, and I forget the individual's name, but she has extensive experience in working in housing authorities elsewhere out eastern in the state uh, and is bilingual in both English and Spanish, so is able to speak to that uh, high Spanish-speaking population so that's located over on, uh, by the hospital in that section of the city for the housing authority. Thank you. I move uh, that we recommend confirmation of the district and the uh, Mr. Hancock to the uh, uh, that we recommend confirmation of their appointment. Second. Motion made by Councillor Walsh, seconded by Councillor Mack to recommend the mayor's appointment. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. three items will be taken together. 10648, 10649, 10650. Uh, a measure confirming the mayor's appointments of Brian LaRoche, uh, Dennis Marion, John uh, Abeke, uh, to the positions of Cemetery Commission member for a term expiring uh, March 29th, 2025, and March 30th, 2025. Hey, just for the record, one is that uh, it's uh, Denise Marin. Oh, Denise, sorry. Thank you. She would know this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, these, uh, these are people well known in the, again, well known in the committee, and they're all real friends, as I understand it. You know, people who've served in this position for a number of years. Uh, I don't believe their presence was necessary for us to act. Uh, I'm certainly satisfied with uh, their reappointment. I agree. Um, I don't think anybody knows the BW better than Denise, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I think she's very highly qualified, and the other two gentlemen have been serving on this for a while, so I uh, I agree their, their presence isn't needed. I move ready to recommend the confirmation of their appointment. Second. Motion made by Councillor Walsh, second by Councillor Mack to recommend the various appointments. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Uh, the next three items would also be taken in order. 10651, 10652, 10653. Uh, measure confirming mayor's appointment of Brian LaRoche, John Audrick, uh, Denise Marion, to the position of uh, Municipal Grounds Commission for terms expiring March 29th and March 30th, 2025. Oh, these are the same people we just voted on and who we recommend confirmation be appointed. Second. Motion made by Councilor Walsh, second by Councilor Mack to recommend the mayor's appointments. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. Uh, new business. Councilor Walsh. I have nothing other uh, than the fact that I again want to commend the mayor for uh, acting on these appointments and getting them in the process for updating. I'm wondering, Mr. Mayor, if you know at this time whether there will be a uh, bevy of new appointments uh, that will be submitted uh, in the next 30 days or so. Uh, there will be at least five. Uh, it will be a youth commission appointment, a uh, two license commission appointments, and I forget what the other two are off the top of my head, but I'm trying to uh, shrink them down to once a month so you don't have enough Uh, no, I just want to, you know, share that we also received just for information purposes only that will be brought up at the um, the next uh, council meeting. Um, just that also the there are two newly hired firefighters, but that doesn't have to go before us. But I just um, again, it's just nice to see that the the um, 
city, whether it be on committees or departments, is is getting a lot of great people. Thank you. And hopefully these newly appointed firefighters will stick around for a while. We hope so, Councilor. Thank you. Let's here. No, I'm, sure. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to uh, uh, thank the appointees who came today to uh, speak with the committee and, and my fellow committee members for um, getting through the meeting today. I appreciate it. We'll be here. Second. Motion to adjourn by Council Walsh, second by Council Mack. Um, is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you.